going to show you is how to upload your access database to Azure and it will convert it to an SQL Server database. Okay, so a couple of things you need to do done before this is one is to create an SQL database on Azure. It's just completely blank. Uh, make sure you've got the username and password, something that I didn't do earlier. And then you've got your access database. Now, you really only do this once your database is pretty final, because if you're going to be messing with it all the time, then it's not ideal to change the add fields and change the structure of it um, when it's on Azure. So it's pretty much final, okay? So we've got a access database, and it's just your bog standard student loads, hardly anything in there. Which is fine, right? I'm just going to show you. Right, the other thing you need to do is download um, SSMA, or in other words, Microsoft SQL Server Migration System for Access. All right, so download that and you're good to go. Right, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, is run the assistant, okay, which is very, pretty straightforward. Now, the only problems come is when you can't remember your username and passwords, which I'm sure I've got a problem with. Right, so hit next, and then we will, don't worry about that bit there, just click next. And then, we're gonna add our database. So it's gonna, mine's on the desktop, so, check it in there, oh there it is there actually. So there it is, um, and then we're going to go next. And that's all good, next again. Now, so the thing I wanna do is I need my server name and now the first thing I'm going to do, I copped up creating my username, I, I said it ad admin, so there's my server name, so I'm just going to, I get that by doing the properties for things, so I copy that, I don't want to type it, and paste that in there, do the same with the username, which I spelt wrong, and they created it, but there you go, that's life. And then goes in there. Now I chuck my password in. Um, okay, now you can click browse and hopefully, yes, it's seen it. Okay, so it's a bit odd. Right again. Right, there's student lates. Don't know why it was over there. Okay, click next. Now, what you might have a problem is. is and this I had this problem earlier. I'm just going to go back. It's one of the many problems I had earlier. Is if you go to your database, what you might find it won't let you log in because of the firewall rules. Okay, so to get that, I'll just quickly show you here. So if you click on your database again, you've got set server firewall. Okay, and what you want to do is add, add, click add there, and that will add yours to it. Okay, so if you don't do that, you'll find it will say something about it on when you're trying to do the login there. Okay, right, so we're good. So we've got the databases, student lates, that is the one that we created on SQL Server um, and on Azure, not, not our local one. Right, click next. Um, yeah. Click next. Okay, so off it's doing it, hopefully. Um, it's connecting, it's all looking good. Good. Tables. It's fine. Okay. Um, wants me to log in again, I don't know why. Seems to be working and then eventually seems like it's done it. Right now, so just to confirm it's now up in the cloud. I'm gonna go to my database. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the editor. I found it very quickly this time. It wants me to log in again. Okay. Right, so if I click on tables now, 
Ooh, there we go. Look. So what I can do now, I can do select star from TBL student. And then if I run that, there we go. So you can see it's up there. Okay, so that's good. Um, it all worked very easily. So it's quite easy to do. Next video, I'll show you how to actually um, modify it within S uh, within Visual Studio. And but we need it's not great in Visual Studio. So what we would do is we will use the SQL Server Management Studio or something like that. What it's called. Okay. Thank you.